Hi, my name is Sam, and I'm really sad. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Sam here, and I'm back for the third time recording this video because my mic settings were bad each time I did it. But today, I'm going to be going over three or four things that the best PvPers do to win on Hypix or other servers that you don't. So, I know I do a couple of these videos every couple months, and I, I don't know, I, I think people don't really get old of me doing tips and tricks. I gotta kill you. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, bro. But a lot of people always ask me to do these tips and tricks, and I, I don't know, people really like them. So today I'm going to be talking to you guys about three things, or maybe four, that the best PvPers do that you all don't. And I guess today's edition will be the high pixel edition. So to start, I'm going to talk to you guys about the S-Tap with the rods. I know you guys have seen me do this in videos quite a bit. It's how I win a lot of my fights. It's how I got my, at the time, the number one dual streak. Um, it's called the Rod S-Tap, right? So basically what you're going to do is you're going to go in and you're going to fishing rod somebody. And this is just, you know, on any game mode on high pixel, this works. You're gonna fishing rod them, hit them once, back up, and as you're backing up, you're gonna hit them with another fishing rod. Because basically what they're gonna do is if they're running straight into you like this guy, see how he's running straight at me, right? I'm gonna rod him. Okay, I'm gonna miss the rod, hang on, hang on. Rod him, hit him. Okay, I went too far in. Rod him, hit him, back up, and as I'm pressing that S key, I'm gonna rod him again, right? So he takes more knockback. And as you guys know in Minecraft, if you're taking backwards knockback, you can't really hit somebody that's in front of you just because that's how the game, okay, you know what, bro? You know what, bro, that's fine, that's fine. But it helps you get really large combos on somebody. Uh, here we go, I'm gonna do it now. Ready, as I back up, I rod him again. He's just kinda stuck, right? He's just kinda stuck, and we're gonna lob him now, and he's gonna die. Okay, he's gonna use my own lava against me. We're gonna put him in that, rot him off, rot him off. You're gonna wanna block up that water. Here we go, buddy. Oh, I picked it up, okay. And he, we're just gonna do it again right here. Look, he, he won't be able to get out, right? He's just dead. He's, he's literally just dead because he can't move because you're backing up as you're rotting him while he's just holding his W key like a Dumbo and he's just gonna die. All right, the next thing on Hypixel is because the KB is so vertical, you're gonna wanna try and side strafe as much as you can. Now, you can W tap. I don't really W tap. I just kinda lock people in combos. For example, I'm gonna use speed from ahead here and hope if I can hit this guy. And I'm just gonna hold my W A key and just put a semicircle on him. All right, he's running from me while I head it. That's actually pretty smart. So here we go. We're gonna kinda put him in that combo right quick. Right quick, wow, that's, you know, that's some phenomenal English. What is, what is this hit reg right now? I think this guy's from, like, Europe or something, so he's pretty laggy, so it's hard to show you exactly how it works. But, you know, if I had the low ground, okay, I'm just gonna WA him up this up this hill so I can take the low ground on him. And that is the third thing. I'm gonna get into that right here, right now, I guess. I could show you a little bit more of the side strafing. But the third thing is getting low ground. That's so important in Minecraft in general. Okay, what is that hit reg, man? Like, my hits are just not registering all of a sudden. And you are dead, so, okay. There we go, we got it. I hope that showcase uh, the WD and the WA like, kind of side strafing um, pretty well. And getting low ground kind of goes in, in accordance with it, right? So that's the third thing is getting low ground. Getting low ground on Hypixel is extremely important because of how vertical the KB is. So like for now, check this out for example. I'm just gonna go on this guy. I'm gonna block that up real quick. And I'm just gonna punish him while he's on the high ground. I have a longer range than he does while he's on the high ground and I can hit him far away. Your S tapping gets even better when you're when they have high ground on you. Um, okay, this guy is hitting me from Narnia, literally from Narnia. Like he's actually, uh, he's actually across the Atlantic Ocean and he's hitting me. All right, here we go. We're going to have to try a little bit harder. I'm going to have to focus less on these little things, and I'm just going to have to combo them, okay? Here we go. We're going to hit him high, hit him high. Oh, don't jump like I just did. Never do that. Never do that, because then that's what happens to you. He gets like a three-hit combo on you. This guy really wants to win this fight, huh? You really want to win, but too bad. You are dead, sir, okay? Unless my hits don't register. That's okay, too. That's fine. I'm okay with it. My hits don't want to reg. That's a-okay, but I hope that helps showcase as well getting low ground, like when I actually got low ground. And when I got comboed is because I was on the high ground, and he had the low ground. And on high pixel, that's, again, since the KB is so vertical, it doesn't really make any sense. Like, you know, it's very hit or miss about if the hits are going to register or not. But if you follow those three things and try to play those three things to your advantage, when somebody's playing you super aggressive, you just S-tap on them like so. Like, I don't know if this guy's playing that kind of play style. If they're, if they're the kind of people to just mindlessly press W, then you can punish them a quite a bit with it. Okay, he looks like this guy's one of them. So ready? Yeah, there it is right there. There it is right there again. Like, he, like he can't, they can't hit you guys. They literally won't be able to hit you if they just press the W key. It's the perfect combo. Okay, but I got a bunch of particles there. So you are going to get particles a lot when you do it. It's really going to come down to muscle memory and getting used to it. Um, there we go. There we go. There we go. And the next big thing that you guys are going to want to do is get good with lava buckets. Because if you are good with lava buckets, you will never lose in this game, not even to cheaters. Like, literally, the bucket, lava buckets are the most OP thing in Minecraft PvP. Okay, there we go. This guy's just air. He's, yeah, put him on the airline guys I put them on the airlines but 
If you want to beat cheaters in this game, I'm telling you to put them in lava. Learn how to put people in lava. If you get good with the S-tapping as well, that's when you're going to want to lava people as well. Because if you S-tap back, you can actually lava bucket and hotkey to that without taking damage yourself. All right, this guy's a W key presser. I can already tell. He's just going to press his W key mindlessly, and I'm going to be able to S-tap him. Ready? So, like, look. He's going to walk right into that lava, lose his mobility because he's in a lava block, and he's just not going to be able to move, right? So it's such a good strategy that all the best PvPers use, and that helps them win so many games. Like, you know, you see Dawson do it. You see, you know, uh, I don't know, Jake probably does it too. I just said Jake is one of the best PvP peers, and I'm gonna get. So this is gonna be fair. Your first. What is he saying? What is he saying? I have a new type of jittering, so don't expect me to do good. Okay, I don't. You don't even need to jitter. <laughs> Here's the thing, okay? Everyone's like, oh, if you need to be good at Minecraft, you have to jitter click. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look you in the eye. That's a load of malarkey. All right, you don't have to jitter click to be good at this game. You know, I know people who click 6 CPS that are better than people who click 12. Like, you know, it's not because, you know, they these people click so fast. It's because they have better aim and better movement and strafing. Like, literally, you don't need to click, like, 10 CPS. Like, I mean, I, I click 10 CPS casually. I, cl I, cl I click up to 13, but I never click 13 or try to click 13 because it doesn't matter, right? Like, he did not lose that because he has a new style of jittering. Like, he lost that because I had better movements and combos than him. Right? It's not because, you know, I, I, he wasn't jittering his mouse hard enough. Jittering is the most overrated thing in Minecraft PvP. You don't need to jitter. If people tell you you need to jitter, you tell them that's a load of malarkey and you don't have to jitter. Because you don't. It's it's like, it's so silly. <laughs> like, you don't need to click more than 6 CP. I'm going to click 6 CPS. Ready? I'm mean, still going to beat him. Watch. 6 CPS. It won't matter. It won't matter. It won't matter. All right, I'm gonna try to click eight actually because I, I, I'm gonna say I'm gonna bring that down to eight. All right, you don't have to like jitter click your mouse as hard as you can. You know, my potion PVP or like I'm gonna click as fast as I can. It's gonna s and shake my screen. Like no, okay, don't do that. Like if you see people doing that, you laugh them off, right? Because you you don't need to do that. All right. And I guess one more tip is not to play on a ridiculously high sensitivity. For example, I play on 1200 DPI at like 35 sensitivity, so I can still 360 pretty easily and turn around and see everything around me without messing up my tracking a bunch. And, and trust me, you need to find just the right sense to where you can turn around and, and turn very well, but you can still track very well without having to break your mouse every time you click, okay? Like it's, you know, it's a-okay, okay? You are gonna, you're like a little laggy, so I'm just gonna lava you. Okay, no, you're not. Okay, you put the axe away, Miss, Miss, Miss Bell, M M Bell, Maybell, Maybell. You just, all right. You know, uh, by the way, don't run in duels because you don't benefit at all. From it. There we go. Okay, that's over. You don't, you don't gain anything by running away in duels. It doesn't help you. Like those kinds of strategies will not help you at all. Your best bet is to just play someone straight up. And I, I guess I could try and get number one streak today. I really don't want to do it though. Like the whole point of this is for me to actually show you guys the tips I'm talking about. Because a lot of these YouTubers and stuff will like tell you how to be good at PvP, but they won't actually be able to execute like the plays that they're talking about. But I actually can. So I kind of want to show you uh, what those plays kind of look like that I've talked about if you're able to execute them properly. Right, right, so this guy's giving me the low ground, which is a mistake. Oh, he lagged. He lagged past the low ground. That's unlucky for me, man. That's unlucky for me. Here we go. I'm missing my rods. Right, we're gonna S tap him. It's gonna work so well. When they have, when you have low ground, the S tap works so well. There's the S tap right there. What, what? Okay, he lagged again, dude. He lagged. Now I'm just gonna W A because I, because if I W A, he'll get hit up on the high ground, and it'll be the airlines all over again. I'm gonna run a circle around him, and now I'm gonna W D because he is. That's the way to get to the low ground. Always strafe the ways to get to the low ground, so you can knock people up to the high ground. That's the most important thing that you can do. Uh, it'll, it'll help you more than you can imagine. I'll pick up the lava. There we go. Oh, come on, high pixel. I want that hit. I want that hit right there. I really want that. Okay, don't do what I just did. Do not get caught up in the air jumping on high pixel. I just jumped as I said that. 400 IQ, Sam, because you will get comboed so hard because of how vertical the KB is. I just jumped over. It. No, I didn't. Never mind. Okay, you're dead. You're just gonna die here. You're just gonna die. How are you alive, sir? What? Thinking. I don't know how that guy just won. I just comboed him up a mountain and he still won. Like, I literally combo him up a mountain and he somehow wins. I guess he ate his head last or something, dude. 
It was a 40 win streak down the drain. I don't really care though. Like I like I comboed that guy up a mountain on stream or on stream on 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 the video. Okay, that's what matters, right? So we're just gonna take it out on this guy, finish it off. Here we go. Here we go. I can't, I can't believe he won that. Like I actually destroyed him. <laughs> I guess he's better with this healing. I'm kind of focusing on the video right now. So okay, you know what? Airlines, dude. There we go. If that's not a good one to end it on, I don't know, really know what is. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope that gives you guys a better sense of what you need to do in Minecraft PvP. Um, mind your healing as well. Like, that was an example of me dying because I didn't really care about my healing. And I didn't really care if I won or lost. But if you do care about that stuff, be sure to watch your healing as well. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope that helped you guys become better players. And I will see you all in the next episode. Peace.